Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to breathe in a way that feels comfortable. We're trying to bring the mind into the present moment, to lure the mind into the present moment. And one way of doing that is making the breath comfortable. So see if it's too long or too short, too, ha too heavy, too light, too fast, too slow, too deep, too shallow. Try to find what's just right. And then stay with it. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. And for them to develop, they have to stay together, the breath and the mind. It's like planting a seed. If the seed is in one place, the sun is someplace else, the dirt is someplace else, then the seed's not going to grow. Or if you put the seed in the ground and then pull it out and put it in someplace else and pull it out, that's not going to grow either. It has to stay for a while. So have your awareness right here with the breath. Keep it here with the breath. If it wanders off, just bring it right back. Show it that you mean business. Because we're trying to develop our goodness of the heart. We develop some goodness through being generous and through observing the precepts. You're sitting here right now, you're not breaking any of the precepts. What remains is to develop the mind. The Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means just that, to develop. We're developing good qualities like mindfulness, alertness, concentration. Because we have to learn how to depend on the mind. As the Buddha said, who else do you have that you can depend on? If you can't depend on yourself, there's nobody. So you have to train yourself to be dependable. We do it with something simple like this, staying with the breath. If you can't keep your mind with the breath, even when you're healthy and strong right now, what is it going to be like when you get sick? What is it going to be like when you get old? When death comes, what are you going to do? You want to have your mind under your control. And so you get good ex exercise now, just telling it to stay with something that's good and comfortable. That way the mind is on your side. If the mind is out of control, it's like giving the keys to your car to a crazy person, any crazy person who comes along the road. And who knows where the crazy person is going to drive you. But when you can control the mind, it's like you have the keys, you're, on, you're at the steering wheel, you know what you're going, doing, you know where you're going. That way you can feel a lot more safe and secure. Your goodness is complete. You've got the goodness of generosity, the goodness of virtue, and the goodness of meditation. With those three kinds of goodness inside, you can face any problem in, the, in life and be confident that you're coming at it with strength. You've got good karma to keep you going, to support you. So make sure the support is all around, that you have all three kinds of goodness. It's like having a stool. If the stool has only one leg or two legs, it's hard to stay balanced and secure. But if it's got three legs, then you can stay stable.